Hi, good evening. Welcome to St. Paul's Faith Formation this Wednesday evening. This past Sunday was the fourth Sunday of Lent. And this week for our Wednesday, we are going to focus on the Gospel of John in chapter 3, verses 14 through 21. I hope you enjoy the story that Ellie is going to share with you. And then Evan is going to share an activity. For this activity, you're going to need some construction paper or regular paper, something to draw with, and something to you to cut things out with. So some scissors, um, or you could tear your items and make them a little bit rougher around the edges. So gather up some supplies and get ready for a fun activity. And thanks for joining us. This week's story is the light of the world and can be found in your Sparks Bible. In the middle of the night, a man named Nicodemus came to see Jesus. It was a strange time to visit someone, but Nicodemus had many questions about God and he didn't want to wait. There was a lot of talk about Jesus. Many people didn't believe Jesus, and Nicodemus wasn't sure what he thought about it all. He also wasn't sure he wanted anyone to see him. He knew that Jesus was talking about God in a whole new way, and some people didn't like it. That night, Jesus and Nicodemus talked for quite a while. They argued and wondered together about many things. And then Jesus said, Really, all you need to know is this. God loves you. In fact, God loves everyone. And it's important that you know this and tell everyone you meet. God wants everyone to know how much they are loved. Nicodemus, God loves this world and everyone in it so much that God sent me, his son, so that everyone would learn how much they are loved. God sent me to save the world, Nicodemus. I am the light of the world. I am all that is good and right, and God sent me to light up this world. Unfortunately, people sometimes like darkness better than light. When we do terrible things, the light is not in us. When we are mean, hateful, and horrible, the world is a dark, dark place. But when we do things that are good and right, when we love each other and help one another, God's light shines brightly in the world, and God is glad. Our activity this evening that Evan's going to share with you is to design a family tree. And now you can do family members on this, you could do friends, you could do extended family. The idea is that we're going to design a tree and write people's names that we care very much for. And we're gonna identify ways to show God's love because our story was about how Jesus was sent as the light of the world. And we wanna share God's love and light. And we can do that in acts of kindness and caring for other people or animals. You could put your pets on there. So really think about who in your family or your close circle of friends is really important to you and who could you share some of God's love and God's light with them and in what ways. So think about that as you get started on this activity with Evan. Thanks again. For today's project, we're going to be doing a way on how you can show God's love. This relates to the story because the story was about the light and the darkness. Another way of thinking about the light is that if you're in the light, you're in God's love. So for this project, you're gonna need some construction paper. You could use any color you want, but I would suggest using brown and green because we're making a tree and you'll need a marker and some tape. You can go gather these materials now. Once you have these materials, you're gonna wanna cut all your pe your brown paper into a tree and you can use the tape to tape the branches on and then you're going to want to use your marker to write anyone that's in your family these are some examples that you could write and then you're going to want to make yourself some little leaves for this tree right i only have three you're going to want to have as many as you can think about what is written on these leaves is different ways that you can show God's love to these to the different people that are on your tree. One of the things I wrote down was you could set the table. And these, and you want to make as many of these leaves as you can think about. Do that now. Now this is your tree. And for the names on here, 
I wrote people like my mom, my dad, my sister, my grandparents. You can write anyone that you think of as family. Then you're gonna take your pile of leaves, that's gonna be at the bottom of your tree, and you're gonna take one, and you're gonna read it, and this one says, clean up their mess. And so then you could put this one on like your brother. And then for that, you could clean up one of your brother's mess. It could be like their toys or their dishes at the table, anything like that. And you can do this for all of the people on your tree. When you finish that, you should have a tree full of leaves. I only have three because that's all the leaves I made for now. But you'll have a leaf or two on every single one. And then you can work on those things throughout the week. My other two leaves are I could set the table for my grandma or I could read a book to my sister. And that's the project. Hope you have fun. Thanks for joining us again this evening. Please check out the email that was sent. There's some additional resources in there, including a Stations of the Cross Walk in Nature from buildfaith.org. So take a look at that. In addition, check out the messenger. There's a couple activities for Holy Week coming up. So a little reminder for you to please work with your family to pass the Paschal light, do a video and send that in. Also on April 1st, it's Maundy Thursday and we're doing an agape meal. It will be virtual. A recipe was included in our email with a special bread you can make for that meal. So take a look at those ingredients and, and also the directions for how to participate. And then don't forget about um, Palm Sunday as well as Easter. There's some different uh, service plans coming together for that as well. So please do take a look at those items. For this week, please reflect on this evening and I hope that you'll find ways to share God's light and love as we move forward into our Easter season. And thank you again for joining us. Have a wonderful week. Good night.